Hi third grade, welcome back. So today is going to be all about adding windows and doors. There are so many different types of windows and doors. Let's start by talking about windows. If you're in an office building, sometimes you want people to really notice your building, so you'll use glass that is very shiny and gets people's attention. If you work in a bank or maybe in it's in a museum, maybe you don't want that many windows. Or if you do want windows, maybe they have bars on them so that people can't break in. Let's go ahead and have a turn and talk with the neighbor. What do you think your building needs as far as windows and doors? Awesome. Your windows and doors do not have to be the ones that we think about all the time. They could be very large, they could be very small, they could be circles, it could be squares. It's totally up to you how you want to create your building. You should have completely covered your building with paint so that you can't see the newspaper anymore. I could probably add a couple of layers, but I'm running out of time and I want y'all to know what to do, so we're just going to ignore that. Today, you are going to make your way to the sink and we're going to be picking colors for our windows and doors. I'm going to start with this blue color. I want you to start off with one color at a time, that way we're not wasting paint. If you need help getting any colors, I can help you, but I will also leave the paints out on the sink so that you can go back and pick those up at any time. The requirement for this project is that each side has at least one window. You could do as many windows as you want. You could do windows on the top. You could do a door that is a window. I don't know. You can be crazy with this as long as there is a window on each side. You don't have to put one on the top, but as long as each side has a window, you're good. I'm going to use this for both my doors and windows. I'm making an art supply store, so I think I'm going to have a really big door right here. Windows on top, but there's going to be enough room for a sign. Windows on each side, and then it's two stories, so you'll see two different levels worth of windows. Also, next time we're going to be adding some decorations with cardboard. You can make a sign, so think about that today. You don't want to cover this all up with windows and have no room to add decorations next time. You also should have picked up a paintbrush and a paper towel. I will put some water cups on the counter over here that you can pick up if you need to clean your brush. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna work on a window on the second floor. I'm gonna take the smaller brush because that'll be a little bit finer and easier to use to make these windows. And I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the shape of the window I want. I chose to do blue. You could do your window another color or you could even do white or black. It's totally up to you but I'm gonna go ahead and draw my windows on my store. Here I am painting my doors and windows. Some of you may need to use that drawing that we made last time where we planned out our buildings. That's okay, I will have those out as well if you need it. Now I'm gonna go over to the sink and get my next color. Remember, let me know if you need me to get you something. I'm going to use a little bit of black to outline my windows and doors and make them just look a little bit more neat. Some of it's still drying. I may need to go over these colors one more time just so that I can't see through them. They're a little bit translucent. We always clean our brush, dip, let it drip, swirl, let it drip, and then a dry off, a dab, no, not this kind of dab, this kind of dab, and then you may go into your new color and start painting. So now I'm going back and outlining my windows. My windows turned out to be squares. I want you to go back and add details like doorknobs and whatnot, but may remember, maybe yours are circle windows. It could be unique. All right, so I finished my doors and windows. That's what I want you to focus on. If you have some time left over, you can decorate a little bit or show me a little bit more detail. I'm gonna take my palette and get my next uh, couple colors because now I'm gonna mix a little bit. If you do get your own colors, please make sure that you close the lid, turn it upside down when you need it, just give it a little shake, and then you're gonna turn it on its side and then barely, barely, barely squeeze out a little bit, just a little bit. I don't want you to waste my paint. I had to buy some of this with my own money. Now I'm back. I'm going to mix a little bit of the black I used with this red, and I'm gonna show you some ways that you can mix the paint. So I'm just going to dip into the black. I'm not gonna clean my brush. I'm gonna be crazy this time. And then mix it with the red. So now it is slowly turning into kind of this dark red, which will be perfect for my bricks. So I'm gonna use this color 
And what it will do is just kind of hint that my building is made of bricks. So you can be creative, you can mix colors. It's up to you. If you need help making a color, I can help you. That's what I'm here for, I'm here to help you. I can't do this for you, but I can help you get there. So now I'll add some texture for brick. I want you to be able to express to whoever looks at your building what it is made of. I think that this is all I'm gonna do for now. Next time, remember, we're gonna add a few more details. We can make a sign, we can make a light post, whatever you wanna make, so have that in your brain, but also you have a little bit of homework. You can bring whatever you wanna bring. I could bring in a bottle cap and put it on top of my building. Maybe it's an air conditioning system. Maybe you have some popsicle sticks at home that you wanna use, or maybe straws, you could build that into something. As long as you bring it to school, I can help you attach it to your building and we can make this creative. Some people wanted to bring Hot Wheels, so if you have like a garage or something or you wanna put a car on top of your house, I don't know, we could make that happen. Please bring whatever you would like to bring, but just remember that that is your responsibility, not mine. Okay guys, I think we are good on directions for today. Remember, I'm here to help you out. At the very end of class, if you could please make sure that your paintbrush is in the water cup. If you finish early, please take your palette and your cup to the sink so that we can clean these out later. Remember, water cups with the paintbrushes always go inside. And then I will have someone at the end of class clean out these trays. Hope that y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.